Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the show that's on in the afternoon. I love doing this show, man. Good. We talk to that's so many inspiring really nice. people. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get to we get to talk to and meet. I mean, well, we already know our guests in studio here today, but just so many great inspiring people who are doing such good for Absolutely. our community, man. It it's, is an uh, honor to do this show. Really, truly. You're all really right. Is. Yeah. 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 And today is absolutely no exception. We've got Teresa Andrews and Tess Danzi in here from uh, Epic Healthcare. And boy, they've got an epic spring coming up. They've got they a really lot do. of events, yes. A lot happening. But a the nuances happening. and how everything comes together just shows a powerful team, which is really exciting to talk about today, too, and yeah. celebrate. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So we are going to talk to them about all the great stuff coming up, all the fun stuff, the stuff that you can get involved in, and uh, everything that you get involved in with Epic really helps people in St. John's County. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty great. So an honor to have them in studio here today, and we will talk to them in just a couple of minutes. Of course, we've got your funnies. Yes. We've got your horoscopes. Oh, okay. I just love more than anybody else. And uh, we'll get you caught up on some other events happening in and around St. John's County as well. Some other events. Other. None yeah. as important. As epic events. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Exactly. <laughs> They're the other. Yeah, they events. showed up today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so we will get into that very, very shortly. But first, uh, we will remind you that uh, Bozard Ford Lincoln uh, is our official sponsor of all things vehicles across the 904 Now Network. Isn't and that incredible? We say couldn't that. be more happy. Yeah. It's really, really awesome, man. Um, they get involved in so much in our community. It's not just. Uh, selling cars for the folks at Bozard Ford Lincoln. It's really not. That's why you see their name on every event that helps people in St. John's County. Yep. That's why you don't see them a, a, a lot of times with what they do behind the scenes. Right. They do so much behind the scenes that people don't even know about to support people in our community. It's really amazing. It's impressive. And boy, we are lucky to have a family owned business like Bozard Ford Lincoln here in St. John's County. We really are. It's very rare um, that a car dealership gets involved this much in so many important things happening in and around St. John's County. And of course, a great selection of vehicles for you. If you're looking for a truck, boy, they got some great deals on trucks huh. right now. F-150, he said it. They're right. slinging them right now. Yep. I don't know if there's any left. You got to go down there to Bozard Ford Lincoln and see um, because those F-150s just, they're legendary vehicles. I mean, they really, really are. They last forever. They're great trucks and the service you get behind those trucks at Bozard Ford Lincoln uh, is just absolutely second to none. They really care about what they do. They care about our community and we are, uh, we are honored to have them as part of the 904 Now Network. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to a lot of people. So uh, Bozard Ford Lincoln, where your family is their family, and they are driven to inspire. Also, speaking of family, very important, uh, our family out there at the Bailey Group. Oh, amazing people. Great people. Awesome people. They yeah. help over 300 companies and organizations, and that equates to a ton of people here in St. John's County. No matter where you want to go, they're going to help you get there together. Their first priority, helping you take care of yourself and your family. It all comes back to your family. Uh, they want to learn more about you, your personal situation. They want to identify your dreams and goals and even uh, understand things like your risk tolerance. Uh, a long-term relationships that encourage open and honest communication have been the cornerstone of their foundation of success. Give them a call. Let them help you out. Let them put your family in good shape. 904-461-1800. And, of course, our friends at Ah Mara Med Spa. If you are craving the perfect blend of relaxation and rejuvenation, Ah Mara Med Spa is your answer. From luxurious spa treatments to advanced medical aesthetics, Ah Mara's experts will personalize a plan just for you. They're really starting to be known as Ah Mara Med Spa. They really are. People call them that. Yeah, I know. All and the time. This is one of the last times we're going to be saying it. I know. They're doing a remix. Big change. I know. Big, a remix. Big change coming remix up. Remix yep. March, soon, March man. 11th. So get ready for that. Oh, my birthday. No, so perfect. I'll be out of studio that day. <laughs> you'll be in Amara, sort of. <laughs> so, you'll be there. You'll be here to kick off. All right. Uh, the, the new, the new remix. I like, I like that. The remix. The remix. Yeah, man. We'll see. Hey, no matter, no matter what the name, 
um, they take it very, very seriously down there. They have very high standards because you have very high standards. Um, when it comes to enhancing your natural beauty with things like dermal fillers, laser treatments, those laser treatments are remarkable. Yes. Uh, they can take things off your face that you didn't even know could be taken off your face. Without pain. That's right? the big seller on that. Painless. Because that's how they're, they're so good at it. Yeah. And they, of course, do Botox and all that great stuff as well. You'll experience top-notch care in their state-of-the-art facility. Feel refreshed and revitalized at ah. Mara Med Spa. 2100 A1A South. Sweet two. Uh, book your next appointment at this website before next week, themrmedspa.com. That's I went, exciting for them. I went to a grand opening with them and then somebody like tackled me and was like, oh, you're one of the all guys. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Davey has made so many accomplishments in his life. I'm the all guy. And he's known as the all guy. I love it. I wear that trophy. <laughs> Highly accomplished swimmer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, philanthropist. Mm -hmm. Helping with uh, local nonprofits a whole lot. Absolutely. But you are the all guy. The all guy. Day. Peloton yeah. athlete, too. Don't forget. <laughs> Peloton. <laughs> Let's not get into the Peloton thing again no, here this morning. We're keeping it clear. We let it go. <laughs> Fun. All right, man. We got some great guests in yes. the studio here with us today. Teresa Andrews, uh, Tess Danzi. Uh, how are y'all doing? Thank you for being here, ladies. Oh, thank you for having us. It's great to be here. Of course. Oh, it's well, great, great to have y'all yes, in the studio. It's great to be here. <laughs> yeah. It's Tis awesome. the season, though, you guys. It really this is. is. Exciting, Jeez. right? Jeez. Spring is really you guys' season. Yep, um, I guess we'll start with something coming up almost immediately mm. the tips for kids' sake. Yeah, right? uh, like two hours now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Talk to me about uh, what this looks like this year. You guys have themes every year. So mm -hmm. what's the theme this year? And give me the participating restaurants as well so we can all make reservations. Yeah, yeah. so tonight's Tips for Kids' Sake. Mm -hmm. And um, it technically starts at 5 o'clock. And if people want to go, we've basically stopped taking reservations at this point. Okay. But you can still go. Just go after 7 because I tell you, the 5 and 6 o'clock hours are Cool, which is Slam. great. That's great news for us. Love to hear but that. We have local celebrities waiting tables at these restaurants, and all their tips tonight go to tips for kids' sake. And the theme is historical characters. Ooh. So I can't wait to see you know what they come up with. But we have 123 Burger House. Okay. We have Black Fly. We have Cafe Eleven, Ford's Garage, uh, participating in Seafood Kitchen, Shaughnessy's, and um, Mellow Mushroom. Oh, great choices awesome. to go out to dinner Amazing tonight. Amazing choices. Yeah, yeah put yeah. those on your list, all people. all the funds raised go to Big Brothers Big Sisters of St. Mm -hmm. John's County, which is under Epic's umbrella. So Epic mm -hmm. is like the sponsoring organization. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 Now, That's Tess, awesome. this is year one for you. This is an yes. exciting night for you to celebrate your one-year anniversary at Epic, right? Right, yes. So what was it like coming in and seeing these crazy fun events, and you were like, whoa, uh, let's go with marketing, right? <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so, well, you know, it's been... It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. I mean, it was it was you know, uh, you know, I just kind of come in and 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 run with it and and go with it. And it was, uh, it was a restaurant way out of town, but mm -hmm. it was you know we brought in a lot of people. It was fun with the 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 celebrity waiter Wendy and um, cool yeah. just just going through it and trying to you know see who's there's competition between everybody and it's like oh they're getting this amount or they're getting that amount and uh, you know this is the second. This is the second Tuesday this year. We did it on February 5th. And mm -hmm. I was at Prohibition Kitchen and our team won. Awesome. So, Congratulations. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> um, a South State Bank. But um, so anyway, so it is, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I love the marketing part of it, getting this stuff out there, coming up with the themes and um, all the social posts. And uh, we have a, a, a another social media person that helps us out as well. But we... Um, I don't know. That's it's just awesome. it's a lot of fun and um, it's enjoy it's enjoyable. There's a lot of hours that go into it, but mm -hmm. it's it's all worthwhile. It shows, as well. and that's amazing. That's what's getting the word yeah. out. I mean, these like you said, they're booked. What till six, seven o'clock? You said mm -hmm. tonight. That's, that's awesome. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. Very very. So, cool. does anybody anybody got a sample? Anybody know uh, one of the characters that are going to be out Ooh, there? Question, is there yeah. a weird, wild, wacky character that's going to be out there? Or is this kind of a surprise to everybody until the night of? Or Cleopatra is going to be making an appearance. Cool. <laughs> I was hoping okay. for Marie Antoinette, but that might, yeah, that's that better. That sounds pretty yeah. that sounds that's great. Good. We had some, what, Rosie the Riveters last time around. Okay. And some, so, yeah, so people I was going to ask you, it. since you're doing this twice, so you kept the theme from February to carry it over to March? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. So, a lot more going on mm -hmm. during right. the spring, obviously. Right. What is going to make this spring so epic? 
so much. <laughs> so much. And she's like, where do I begin? <laughs> right? yeah. Oh, gosh. So not this coming weekend, but the next weekend is the Flower and Garden Expo. I love mm. this event. I know. Isn't it beautiful? It's the only time to do. get like affordable plants. I just got to shout that out. It is a wonderful yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. I love it. And we have nurseries from all around the state that come, and they bring amazing plants that you can't find locally. Right. Mm. And they and this year we have 18 nurseries coming, which oh, is, cool. I think, a record. Wow. So we've got some new folks coming, and then we have some that are tried and true favorites that have been coming for like over 20 years because this is the 28th year of the expo. Wow, Wonder look at that. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. So, you know, like for me, I'm not a gardener. I Sometimes the vendors will try and give me a plant, and I'm like, oh, please, let's have mercy on this plant. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, let that I'm plant live. I'm someone. right with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. over water here. But, but it's so beautiful to walk around and just look, right? It's just gorgeous to walk around. And then we also have crafters, but they have to be garden-related. You're not going to find... I don't know, belt buckles and sunglasses, right, which right, have their right. place, but not at our show because we are focused on gardening. So you're going to have pottery and you're going to have cool. yard stakes and stuff for your yard. So it's all about the garden. We have gardening lectures and it's just, it's just so cool. Because we have a different kind of soil here. So it's really important to know what you're planting yeah. and things like That's that. So you, you get that yeah. great <laughs> education, which is awesome. That's yeah. so the, cool. The no. one, one of the things I love is that the vendors love to talk to people. Oh, good. Yeah. So you're not rushed. You hang out with them. You ask them questions. And are we going to talk about the lectures? The lectures. Yeah. 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 Well, th there's two two of them. Um, one is about your uh, citrus trees and how to grow. It's nice. And um, the and the other one is about um, you have this plant now. What do I do with it? So yeah. They're, they're, mm, right. Maybe I do need to go to this right. because it, again, not a green thumb. Here. My yeah. frangipani, I kill it every year. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I mean, I got a lot of fake plants in my house. It's very nice, that much. wonderful. Yeah. Yes, Hobby Lobby. Every other week, they're on sale. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but what else can we look forward to at the expo? Is there like food trucks or any mm -hmm. vendors or anything like that? So there are food trucks, and we have some tried and true favorites like Spencer Smoke and Q's. Hey, be on Saturday. Yeah. 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 And then the Saucy Pig will be there on Sunday, so you can mm -hmm. barbecue both days. Cool. And then Yamo Italian Street Food oh, Truck is going to so be there good. both days. These are like some of our top three favorites. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Yibor is going to be there both days. They were new to us last year, and they were mm. really good. They have like pressed sandwiches. Oh, fun. So you have choice, Italian, barbecue. That's great. I love a food truck moment because, yeah. you know, they just pull up. They make delicious food. They do. And uh, it's not it's not a lot of less hassle with some right. of these events, too. Right. right? And then... We have sweet treats coming, and they do like the fried Oreos and the fun okay. cakes, and okay. so kind of give it that fair flavor. That's fun. And Zoe Shaved Ice, who has like the best shaved ice I've had, it's so good. And they make the best lemonade. Oh my gosh, that's Ooh. what I go get time after time after time after time after time. And then we have <laughs> children's areas, which actually are kind of built in at Sykes Family Farm because there's those slides, right. there's swings, there's seesaws, there's this new bubble tent where they can blow bubbles cool there's cows there's chickens there's goats i mean there's they do a lot over spend there the whole yeah. day and just hang out and it just really is awesome and it's a you know it's a beautiful field and it's a little bit more condensed than when we used to do it at the ag center so you can kind of see everything in one glance as soon as you get there and mm -hmm. we and tess makes this beautiful map that tells you who's there and what they're offering so you can decide that's nice to have the map see. that is nice yeah yeah, yeah. it has all the vendor names in the map and signs and stuff we have the boy scouts come out and they do plant pickup so mm -hmm. you have a lot of a lot of people come with their little carts and stuff but you have the boy scouts that'll come out and and pick your stuff up take it to the plant pickup area you drive in nice they load it for you and and you know and then you can roll you off in the sunset roll off yeah. into the sunset <laughs> yep <laughs> that's great so people buy a lot of plants yes they use this expo as their entrance into their spring gardening sure. mm -hmm. they wait sure. for it and we're actually doing it a week earlier this year than we've done in years past so that should be helpful to the folks who are like i need to get in my garden but i'm yeah. waiting for the expo well it's here and so but i'm gonna run home with it being economical too because you go to these big mm -hmm. box stores and they're super expensive these plants some of them are 200 bucks but you go to something like this and you spend 200 dollars, you get an array of plants and things so that's a, it's it's mm -hmm. a great option for locals well, not yeah. only that they're grown here in florida you don't know where those plants come from true from the big box store You're so right. you know they're already acclimated to this weather and they'll you know they have a better chance of even the non-green thumb people <laughs> to, sur to survive the, the season. Succulents. So. Stick with succulents. That's what I do. Yeah, I love I've, I've messed up those two. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so we mentioned the great food that's going to be out there. Mm -hmm. You guys also have taste 
Taste coming up, right? We do. Yeah, tell me about this. So that's coming up in April. Okay. It's April 28th. So the expo is March 16th and 17th. Got okay. it. And so it costs $5 for adults to get in, and children okay. 12 and under are free. And the, the ticket's good for both days. So if you come on Saturday, come back on Sunday, you don't have to pay again. Smart, great. But you want to hold on to your ticket. Yeah. Because the ticket will get those adults into the taste for free. Okay. Okay. That's right. smart. Yeah. Yeah. So the taste is at the amphitheater. And if you like to eat, you got to come. I'm literally yeah. already hungry. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting yeah. hungry just from talking about it. Yeah. You said yeah. Spencer's. I said hunger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a premier food festival. And one of the things that is really great about it and that the restaurants really like is that we bring in judges and they are culinary professors from Florida State College in Jacksonville, mm. and they do a blind tasting of every single dish mm. that's at the taste. And then they award best ethnic, best upscale, best uh, dessert, best family dining. And the restaurants love to win these because this is their peers. This is a professionals yeah. in their field judging their food. And great bragging and so rights to say, like, definitely. hey, look what I oh, won. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yep. So we have food trucks and restaurants that will be there, and they offer small samples of their signature dish or whatever that they're bringing. We don't want people to get full right. at one restaurant unless you go load up on six of their, you know, whatever they're serving. But we want you to walk around and sample and try. And so people um, buy taste tickets that are a dollar each, and the restaurant might charge between one and five tickets for their dish. So, okay. So you work it out that way. and. Test creates another great map that tells who's there and what they're serving. So you really can plan out your uh, meal. Now, you do know? you have this already lined up? Like you have all your chefs and, uh, and your food trucks there or can other people like jump in the mix now? Or is We have a few spots left. We've okay. got quite a few already signed up, but I'm probably looking for like, Four, maybe four more restaurants, four or five, and maybe I know it's two a lot or three fun. more food trucks. So, cool. so there is a little bit of space, but it's first come, first serve. So if you're a restaurant out there, you know, call us up. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's great exposure, especially for new restaurants that are starting out. So okay. We get a lot. We get thousands of people that come to this, even in the short amount of time. So it's, it's great exposure for them, and it, you know, it benefits Be Epic amazingly so it's one of our major fundraisers yeah. and this also rolls into what what's what's after the taste well it's actually before oh excuse me it's the race to the taste oh the i race see to the taste yes. okay race to the taste. Yes. captain yes. obvious there it is <laughs> so it starts at the amphitheater just to, actually a few minutes before the taste starts and people run through the state park and then they run through a neighborhood oh how okay fun. and then they run back and then they can run right into the taste because mm. when you register for the race it includes free entrance into the taste. That Perfect. is awesome. That cool? Perfect. I like how everything rolls into each other. The expo to the race to the taste. I like this. I mean, a lot of thought. Yeah. A lot of thought goes into these events for you guys. Right. You've been doing some of these a long time, and you got a good game plan, a good foundation. Yeah. Once you kind of have a, a, I mean, we don't want it to get boring or stale, but once you have kind of the foundation, mm -hmm. you just build on that. Make yeah. it more interesting. Make oh. year. Every year. And we also have entertainment at the taste, and this year... We have Big Papa Fish. Okay. All right. And the Space Heaters. Oh, very good. Yeah. Ooh. That's going to be exciting. About that. That's awesome. Great music. Great yeah. music. Great fun. Great food. Mm -hmm. How and the children's you argue area. With that? The taste, too. Children's What's that? Area. Children's yeah. Area. Children's area. Oh, Always got to have cool. something for the kids to do. So. Got to. Yeah, yeah you got to keep right? them going. Right. Well, those yeah. kids have so much energy. You got to throw them in a bounce house. You just let them bounce <laughs> around for it. three hours. Let them burst that energy. energy get out of there for a little while. <laughs> Um, so what does it cost to uh, be part of the race, be part of the taste? Do you have to do the race, or can you just come for the taste? Oh, hallelujah, you can just go to the taste. Uh, <laughs> there you go. People like me don't like to run. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yes, you can just go to the taste, but if you do like to run. Um, or walk. You can walk, too. You can walk mm -hmm. it, bring, bring your strollers. Okay. Bring your kids. Yeah. Pretty, I did it one year in flip-flop, so it's not, it's, oh, not, it's not a, you know, it's not a, you know, up and down and stuff. So it's it's pretty, pretty Easy, fun, yeah. run, run, walk. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's it's exciting. And, you know, we switched to a Sunday. The 28th is a Sunday. We switched to a Sunday uh, a few years ago. And I really like it better on a Sunday because there's a more relaxed vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people have so much to do on Saturday. They got to, they would like run in and, and I want to try that and try that. Boom. And then they leave because, you know, they got Little League or grocery shopping yeah, or whatever right. it is. But on Sunday, it's just relax people come and they hang out and they listen to the music and they take their time and and go back and 
I've actually seen people bring in Tupperware to the taste and get food and take home. And Smart. Why not? Wow. <laughs> okay. So we found the life hack here for this <laughs> one for sure. Right. It, it's also fun for patrons because they can, you know, they can come and taste, figure out what restaurants they want to go to. And right. then, you know, then, the they, then they can, yeah. and everybody's from St. Augustine. So then if they like a restaurant, they want to go back, then they can go back and have the meal there that they really, they really want. So it's, it's um it's 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 a win win for everybody. It's yeah. a lot of so fun and, and everybody gets to us. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, great. It's awesome. Yep. Yeah. So with all this cool stuff, Teresa, that's going on, all mm -hmm. these great events, this leads into Epic. Mm -hmm. What's going on at Epic right now? We are busy. We are growing. We um we have had for a while because we've talked about it on this show our access center, which is where someone can just walk in without an appointment if they are in crisis and they need to be seen right then. They can walk in Monday through Thursday mm. at our north campus, which is right next to you guys, right yeah. over there. But we've now also opened um, the access center up in our northwest campus, off oh, wow. of County Road 210 on Fridays. So they're open so that if someone is in crisis and doesn't want to drive all the way to St. Augustine, there's have, a place yeah. for them as well. Great. We've now made it where we um, can offer our psychiatric services at all of our campuses. We have the Northwest Campus off of 210. We have North Campus off Lewis Speedway. We have Central Campus, which is off um, Old Dixie Highway. We have our Epic Recovery Center, which is our inpatient campus, which is down US 1 South. And we have a campus in Flagler County. We have a campus now in Bunnell. That's Great. awesome. So we do outpatient services at all of those, except for the um, in, inpatient service. But now we offer psychiatric care for all of them. But we have clinicians at all of them. We do prevention at three of the four. Um, so we are doing a lot. Yeah. We're doing a lot. So there's a lot going on. And I know there's a shortage of, shortage of therapists out there. So this is awesome to hear you report mm. this now. That's great. Yeah. Really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. So we are trying to... You know, Epic has always been, we want to respond to community need. So we try to do that when we're hearing we have a need for this. If it fits in our mission, if it has to do with mental health or substance use, then we want to be a partner to the community, be, you know, what people need. Mm -hmm. And so we do get different grants and we do get different funding sources. And so some of those pay for the services that we provide, but there are those folks that approach us that don't have insurance or that don't meet the, meet the eligibility of that particular funder. And, you know, it was so hard for that person to decide to get help. Mm -hmm. And we don't want someone who finally, I, I need help. I'm going to make that call to be told, well, you know, we can't help you. So we don't turn people away for their lack of ability to pay. But then that's where the expo comes in. That's where the taste comes in. That's where the race comes in. Those funds that are raised by those events help us bring in people who can't pay, but still cover our costs. Yeah, you know? So right. we're not losing money, but we're still able to, you know, keep going and keep Epic afloat That's and all huge. that. So the so when people come to the taste and they eat their heart out, they are helping people. I love that. When they go to the expo and they are buying plants to their heart's content, they are helping people. And when they're running in the race, <laughs> they are helping people recover from their substance use or mental health issue. And it's and it's all it's right epic. here in the community. It's all right here in the community. It all stays right here. It all stays right here in St. Augustine. Yeah. yeah. That's so important. Very cool. So Tess, one year in. One year in. Yeah. Tell me, oh, tell me your review. The team, great <laughs> team. I mean, how are you feeling about being a part of Epic's team? You know, Epic is an amazing team. These people really care about who they're helping. They care about the community, and most of all, they care about each other. And so, uh, you know, things are things can be. There's some change going on right now. We have a new CEO. And she's amazing. Awesome. And not that we still love our old CEO, but <laughs> we love our new one too. Cool. Um, we have we we have a new admin building. Um, we have some a lot of new staff. Um, it's just it's a it's an amazing place to be. It's a and it's amazing team. And of course, I'm a little biased, but I, I love my boss too. Yeah, so. amazing lady. <laughs> Heck yeah. Very so cool. Just, just lots of fun stuff and and great camaraderie. Great, you know. They, they really care about what they're doing. It sounds epic. It is. It's very epic. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and she stayed. And then after going through, I mean, they are pretty well-oiled machines, but yeah. you just put on a big event. You know, you know, you may look like a duck floating on the surface <laughs> all nice and calm, <laughs> but what are your feet doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. So she, she lived the 
chaotic behind the scenes and stayed. So I'm just so happy. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta well, love it. I mean, that's dedication. That's dedication to helping people. And we, we have here. events all year long. It's, yeah. this, these are our major events, but we have, um, you guys, you guys remember my session we, with Emma, Emma, we, that's right. we did that. And we, you know, we do events like for big brothers, big sisters, tips for si kids sake is our big fundraiser for them. But mm -hmm. we also have an online auction and we have St. Augustine giving day that we go through. And then, um, of course, we're always, always interested in, um, you know, donations from uh, foundations and those kinds of things. So, so we're, all, we're always asking. So, so. my ascension's <laughs> coming back, really? Yes. That was huge. Remember that uh, Emma Benoit, oh, am yeah. I saying that right? Oh, she, yeah. That was a powerful interview that we did with her. She's mm -hmm. an amazing young lady. Yes. That's great, you guys. That's it. I just got chills. Yeah. She's coming back five days wow. so we're partnering with ink and they got a grant cool that is helping to pay to bring her back to do a presentation in all four corners of our county and then kind of a central one probably at schools but after hours so anyone can attend so that will be in august so definitely more details can, about yeah that can, we got to interview great. her in studio this time this would be awesome oh, yeah she'll that be here be for so a week fun she's That's such great. a lovely human yes, being yeah. Cool. yeah she's my instagram buddy <laughs> so where can people reach out to you guys if they want to uh, get help, if mm -hmm. they want to help you guys help people? Well, our website is epicbh.org. You can always call us or you can call us. We have a we have a line that you can call, which is 904-829-3295. And yes, I should probably have that memorized. But that's okay. <laughs> you got a lot of things. Yeah. You got a lot of that's, things you're working on with Epic. That's our event line. That's our event line. So that's our event line. So you, People can get answers to all their questions about the events by calling that number or going to the website that Tess just told you. Plus, yeah. the race, the taste, and the expo all have their own Facebook pages. Well, perfect. So Great. we keep the updated, you know, information. The, all the vendors are listed that are coming to the expo. All the restaurants, as we sign them up, they're listed on the taste page. So we try and keep those updated so people know we Tess keeps those updated so that, you know, people know what's going on and all that. But if someone wants to call for help, they can call 829-2273, awesome. and that gets into um, the helping part of the, the clinical side. Mm -hmm. Got it. Clinical, great. yeah. Great. Fantastic. Well, I'll be tagging away today, <laughs> so help me through it. This <laughs> okay. is great. Thank you. Awesome. Teresa, Tess, thank you all so much for coming <laughs> thank by. Thank you for having for us. Everything we appreciate you guys so very much. So inspiring Absolutely. what you guys do. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, you guys got it. Boy, that taste. Boy, that they have taste. so many tasty events, right? Yeah, Tips they do. For kids' sake, yeah. I mean, I'm, everything. I, I'm not kidding when I tell you uh, talking about it makes me hungry. I mean, it really does. <laughs> no, I totally. mean, I got to find Spencer after this show. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, man. I know he's not at the courthouse today, but it's just, yeah. Spencer, I'm going to knock on his door. Spencer. <laughs> I think he'd be ready for you. I need some cue, man. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you know what else I need? is to tour St. Augustine on an old town trolley. It would do you good. It, w it would. Yep. It's great even for locals, man. It's cool because I'm somebody who's lived here my entire life. And every time I hop on one of these trolleys, I legitimately learn something new about my hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool. They take a lot of care to not only give you the kind of historical background of St. Augustine, which is cool and fun for like visiting friends and family and guests and all that stuff, but they really do make it fun. Yeah. They make it enjoyable. They take a lot of care in making sure everybody aboard that trolley is having a good time and enjoying themselves. Um, 22 uh, stops, more than 100 points of interest. You can get on and off. If you want to grab some lunch at one of the stops, jump off, grab some lunch, eat for an hour, and then hop on the next trolley that comes around. It's a great system. It's a well-oiled machine, and uh, you're just absolutely going to love your time out there. If you got people visiting, my aunt visiting in town oh yeah they're gonna be hopping on an old town trolley this week oh that's great yeah, man yeah it's just a great experience uh old town trolleys they're the green trains we absolutely love them you know what the best when you have family that's visiting they buy a full price ticket you ride for free but that's right yes. hometownpass.com dave chatterton knows how to do it for locals i like yeah, it man hey we all know how to take air conditioning really really seriously in florida we're not fans of being left in a hot and human situation when was the last time you had your home unit inspected or serviced? Well, for over 45 years, All American Air has been serving St. Augustine and its surrounding counties. That includes St. John's, Flagler, Duval, and Putnam. Their areas of expertise include warranty and non-warranty service work on all makes and models of AC units. 
They have preventative maintenance service agreements, new construction installations, and equipment replacement with high-efficiency systems. From the most efficient Lennox home systems to the iComfort Ultra Smart Thermostat, All American Air has the latest and greatest in all of your HVAC products. Check them out today. Get on one of those maintenance plans, 904-461-0070. And, of course, our friends at Bin 39, yeah. where you're going to find your new favorite wine. I can guarantee you that. Uh, Irving's Place. Just absolutely amazing. Such a cool dude. <laughs> He's re- I mean, the most enthusiastic person in the world uh, oh. when it comes to wine. Yes. I mean, you talk to him about wine and his entire face lights up, his world lights up. Like, when you go into Bin 39, a lot of people are like, at different places, I uh-huh. guess I should say. You might be a little intimidated True. to talk to somebody. I mean, somebody like me who knows nothing about wine... It would right. be tough for me to go up to a wine connoisseur and say, "Hey, buddy, I'm an idiot. What you know? What goes with a, what yeah. goes with a cheeseburger? Yeah, right. You know, and he but, would know right away. <laughs> right, he, and he would know that stupid question yeah. right away, and he'd have a real answer for me right away. But he loves talking about it. Yeah. Like he loves it. He loves when people ask him questions. He loves to point people in the right direction. So don't ever be intimidated. Uh, go in there into bin thirty nine. Uh, see if you can find Irving in there. He's always running around like crazy. He's got a million jobs, but talk to him. Yeah. Talk to him because he wants to talk to you and, and help you find your new favorite wine. And he will do just that. And you'll be so impressed. A uh, 904-827-5740. Horoscope time. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer Leo Virgo today. All right, guys. Let's get this rolling, Clay. All right. Cancer. Today's forecast for you, Cancer, 100% chance of emotional thunderstorms. It's a great day to overthink and make mountains out of molehills. Oh. Remember, if anyone can turn a peaceful day into a dramatic saga, it's you. Wow. Leo. Shine bright like a diamond, Leo. Oh, the Rihanna song. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately... Uh, Today, the only thing you'll be known for is your ability to generate massive amounts of ego pollution. Ooh. Ooh, Leo. And Leos like this segment. Yeah, they do like this segment. Try not to blind others with your brilliance, or is it just sheer (laughs) self-absorption? Well, Leo, some reflection there. A little bit. Virgo. Get ready, Virgo. Your unmatched talent for criticism will reach new heights today. It's a perfect day to nitpick and find out flaws in everything and everyone. Hmm. Except, of course, in your own impeccable judgments. Those are pretty bad. Those are pretty, yeah. Those are are pretty bad, yeah. Yeah. All right, cheer us up a little bit. All right, we've got the Wuffle Ball Challenge is coming back. Oh, that's cheerful. Yes, this is, remember our buddy Nathan over there at Backyard Rule? Totally. Um, He's going to be coming on the show in April to talk about Backyard Rule, but they're doing this really cool thing with Ayla's Acres. Hmm. So fun and games to benefit Ayla's Acres No-Kill Animal Shelter. It's a Wiffle Ball Tournament. This is happening March 24th. Save the date, 10 a.m., Joe Palmar Park. Um, That's over off of Masters Drive. It's a really, really cool area. Um, So, yeah, join them Sunday, March 24th for the second annual Wiffle Ball. Uh, you can register now at backyardrule.com. All right. That's a good one. Yeah. Fun guy. He's a great dude. Yeah. I'm excited <laughs> to talk to him and find out how he got the concept of, of pulling these wiffle ball games together. I think yeah. it's a genius idea for yeah. a fundraiser. Hey, uh, join them for a third, the third annual barbecue and beer at the ta- hey, at the barn. Yeah. This is happening April 18th, 6 to 8.30 p.m. Um, see horseplaytherapy.org for tickets and more. This is so cool. Yeehaw, get ready for their favorite event of the year. Join them for a fun night of barn, including live music, open bar, and a catered barbecue dinner from Woodpeckers. Hey, hey Lisa, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, man. Line dancing and more. I love that. And we love them over at Horseplay. I'm sure we'll be talking about that. Um, coming up. Hey, mark your calendars. Join the of April 5th. This is the captain's meeting hosted at St. Augustine Fish House and Oyster Company. Registration opens at 5. What is this? Is uh, some sort of, Oh, it's the St. Augustine High School uh, Fishing Tournament that's coming up that's, uh, that's in support of the St. Augustine High School football team. Cool. My notes went away, so I had to remember that by heart. But yeah, that's a really <laughs> awesome chat. You can uh, contact Erin Cook Johnson for more information. She's incredible. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Always. I mean, she is the queen of these fishing tournaments. Queen of the fishing tournaments. Yes. I love that for her. Yeah, man. Um, And hey, Panache is going to make you feel like a queen. Yes. You go in there, you're going to be feeling good. You're going to be looking good. (laughs) Um, Whether it's hair, whether it's nails, manis, petties, facials, Mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Massages, great massages out there at Panache. 
uh, you are just going to feel on top of the world after you get out of Panache. I mean, that's that's their guarantee. Um, and they have a highly trained, carefully chosen staff. They're not just pulling people off the streets. Right. Um, they are really artists out there at Panache. And uh, the same goes for their elegant salon space. Very artistic, very relaxing, beautiful place. They're dedicated to guest comfort and devoted to innovation and artistry. They're focused on making your day and continually raising the bar. They also align with Aveda and all the great stuff Aveda does. Uh, check them out. Getpanache.com. Love your mother. April 27th. Yeah. Everybody get tickets now before those ticket prices go up. Yeah. 65 bucks. Jump on it. Yes, man. Hey, the United Way of St. John's County is a catalyst for change, bringing together businesses, volunteers, and organizations to tackle the toughest challenges facing our community. With your support, they can make a real difference. From empowering children to succeed in school to providing vital resources for families in crisis, the United Way of St. John's County is at the forefront of change by investing in education, health, and financial stability. They're building a stronger, more resilient community for all. Amazing work what they do over there. So inspiring. It's amazing what happens when we live united. That is the truth, sir. All right, what do we got to end the show? We've got chuckle some memes I found on this Instagram page. Okay. This first one, I don't know what country this is, but I know I've dated people from it. No, <laughs> ah. I've dated everybody from there. Right? Yeah. The next, uh, the first rule of online shopping. Yes. <laughs> you have to set <laughs> your filters. Yep, <Yeah>. yep, <laughs> yep, yep. yep. Next up, cashier delivery will be an extra $5. All dads, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay, paying, paying that extra five bucks. Just pay the five, gosh. Next up, search my symptoms on Google. Google, get in. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yep. Don't, don't ever do that. that. No. Don't ever do that. Uh, next up, older men don't even hide that they're staring at you. They look at you like this. Uh, <laughs> the yeah, crazy well, Wonka eye. <laughs> yeah, at some point, you just give up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Next up, me acting like I don't see the money in my birthday card. Oh, yes. boy, I'm yeah. good at that. Yep. I'm good at that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, my friends and I, when I when we go out. Yep. Oh, True. Oh, you have a wild yep. night right there. Right. Next up, I hate when a customer says, why they all got to be working on holidays? Bro, why are you here? Yeah, I know, right? You're the reason. Exactly. Next up, me waiting for my best friend to become a billionaire so she can buy me clothes, a car, food, and a mansion. Wow, you said billionaire. The text says millionaire, I know, but I you're waiting for up. your friend to be a billionaire. I could go through a, a million in a minute, so wow. I need the billion wow. to keep me afloat. Jeez, <laughs> good for you. Up, me thinking that I've fixed my life just because I've cleaned my room. This That's is me. True this balance. This is me. True yeah. balance, yep. <laughs> That's great. That was literally me today when I turned on the automatic shark vacuum. I'm oh. like, oh! No! It's on. I accomplished something. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things. My dog is shedding like crazy right now. Oh, so even, those, even the automatic vacuum doesn't work. I know. It's hard. All right, man. Good show today. Thank Great you for show. putting that together. Yes, sir. Thank you, Clay, for pressing all the buttons at, uh, back there. Teresa and Tess for coming in and for all the great work they do throughout the days and throughout the years here in St. John's County. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will talk to you in the morning. Bye, everybody.